Hey guys, welcome back to Woods Tree Farm. I'm Phil, thanks for checking out the channel. I'm a little mad at myself. It's been two months since I published a video to this channel. I have been busy publishing videos on my other channel on Flat Creek Outdoors. What I did late last year was kind of separate the content a little bit so that everything directly related to the actual tree farm business is published on this channel and everything related to equipment and tools and property maintenance and firewood and other stuff is over on Flat Creek Outdoors. So you can go check that out. I did purchase this year a wolf ridge splitter it's over there behind that pile of wood so there's been a lot of firewood videos lately because i am looking to grow the firewood business but uh here on wood street farm i'm going to keep this focused on growing christmas trees uh the things that we learn in um, starting our business here doing the tree lot doing flowers and the other things that we actually do to make money here with our business. So a couple months ago, I published a video, and I'll put a link in this video's description, where I shared everything that we've learned so far about doing flowers. And uh, flowers has been really good for us. It's really profitable, and it's really good at getting people out to our property for the first time. And of course, that introduces them to our business, and many of them come back for the Christmas season as well, which is obviously great for us. So one of the things that we learned last year in doing flowers was it's really hot in August and September when we're, when we're selling flowers and our guests did not want to walk all the way across the property where we had the flower patch set up. So this patch here, right by the wood piles, right by the entrance to the property, is going to be this year's flower patch. I put down a cover crop last fall. It's been growing over the winter. It's doing fine, though the deer have hit it pretty hard. Uh, which is fine. So this will all get tilled in. That organic matter will help improve that soil. And like I said, we'll be planting flowers here real soon. We just completed an excavation project. We had a contractor come in and do this. Uh, this is just downhill from the flower patch. And this gives a nice access now to what we call our hidden field. And that's where we set up all of our games and activities for kids when we do events out here at the farm. So this is nice because you know parents and families can pick their flowers right here in this patch. This will be about an acre full of flowers. And then they'll be able to come right downhill and go over here to where all the games and activities are set up. So this is our hidden field here. We had a game over here last year. See that galvanized bucket in the ground? We did a soccer, mini soccer golf game last year. That was fun, everybody enjoyed that. We'll probably continue that this year. I am going to be building right over in this area a tractor tire mountain. Uh, that'll be really fun for kids to climb on, I think. A few more trees need to come out of this area to accommodate that. And then straight through the woods this way, we're gonna cut a trail and that's gonna be a shortcut to the main field on the other side of the pond. Right through here is where we're gonna cut that trail to the hidden field. You can kind of see it through the trees here since there's not any foliage yet. Uh, so this will provide a shaded walk to the other side. And then this is the other big project that we had the contractor work on. Our main path for equipment is up this way that goes along the property line. And we have the contractor kind of grade this out and put in another creek crossing over here because this is often way too, well, it was too steep and it was often too muddy for equipment to get in and out on this side of the property. Our only way to get to the other side was across the uh, road that's on the dam for the pond. So now this gives us on the other side of the property uh, another access point. So when we're open for cut your own Christmas trees in a couple years from now, we'll be able to set up a loop for four wheelers and for tractors to pick up people, to drop off people, to pick up their trees and so on, rather than just doing out and back across the pond road. So this is gonna do a lot for access for us. But I think it'll be really nice for guests to be able to get to the other side as well with a nice shaded path to get over here. And it'll be a little bit shorter walk coming in this direction rather than going out across the pond road the other direction. So once we get out to the other side of that new creek crossing that's right behind me, we're now right where last year's flower patch was. So we're still going to do some flowers over here, and I think some people will really enjoy coming through the woods and that shaded walk and getting over here. But the bulk of our flowers are going to be back over in that other patch where um, where I showed you at the beginning of the video. So this patch here has lots of annual ryegrass that we just planted as cover. And I think we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some buckwheat here in the spring and we're going to do some sunflowers here early summer. I've got heaps of black oil sunflower seeds that did really well for us last year that were left over. 
we'll see how well they germinate for this year since we kept them uh, an extra year and uh, and then we'll do five or six different varieties of flowers over in the other big patch it's been a hard winter with deer damage there's a heavily damaged tree right there there's another one right here next to me these Leland cypress just got rubbed like crazy with the bucks out here this winter and uh, there is probably some either fungal or other disease issues I, I, I need to get familiar with and try to treat on some of these trees as well um, you know these trees do yellow a little bit over the winter uh, some people have told me that but uh, some of these are looking really really pale they might just need fertilizer and um, we are this upcoming week going to be doing our first fertilization for this year and hopefully they respond well to that but man I've probably got uh, I don't know probably 30 trees just here within the Leland's that have just gotten completely annihilated with the rubbing so it's disappointing because they're the trees that have grown the fastest grown the best out here and the deer just came in and just tore them up you see the rest of the field out here now the scotch pines are yellow like they do over the winter but they're growing well just up the hill I've got a few surviving cananes and then at the top of the hill Norway spruces are doing awesome so that's kind of where we're at I've got a little bit of work to do and I'm going to update you in a future video on a tool that I'm using now to um, just try to train some of these trees and try to tie up some of these trees if you've seen the tapener um, that's what I'm talking about and it works out really really well it's becoming my favorite tool for trying to maintain some of these trees in just a couple weeks I think we've got 700 trees coming in I've got some white pine coming in for the first time I've got some Austrian pine that we're gonna try out and if you're not getting the theme here we are moving towards doing more pines more cypresses since we've had such abysmal luck with some of the fir varieties and i'm also trying to get away from doing so many norway spruces just because i know that they have really poor needle retention and uh, i want people to have a good experience with our trees and i want to have more trees available for people to cut earlier in the season and i just can't recommend people do that with a norway spruce when it drops so many needles so i hope you enjoyed this little update and this little walk around the property to kind of show you where we're at now that winter is kind of over here in Virginia it's March we might get one or two more freezes but nothing significant and the next like 10 days in the forecast is all gonna be really mild so all the trees which their buds are already full uh, all the trees are going to be popping open here in the next week, week and a half, and it is going to look like full-on springtime before we know it. And we're going to have to start cutting grass and spraying for weeds and doing all the other warm weather things that take up a lot of time. So that'll be some upcoming updates with the planting and some more spring prep. And then we get into flowers. That's a little bit of what you can expect in the next month, month and a half here. So thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I appreciate you guys. If you got any questions or comments, obviously leave those below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And hope you have a good one. See you in the next video.